Today we are going to take this photo of a dragon fruit and then we'll add some textures to it and we'll make it something like this and then we'll take it even further and create a graphic art or abstract graphic art like this. So let's get started. Harshwardhanart.com Unleash the creative in you. Hi. I am Harshwardhan. I am a freelancer photoshop artist. You can visit my website harshwardhanart.com for some exciting stuff and to know more about me. You will even find some pro tutorials or the premium training and you can get them with huge discount if you click on the link in the description section below. Welcome to another fantabulous tutorial. Today we will take this photo and then as I have mentioned earlier then we will add some texture to it we will make it something like this and then we will take it even further and create a abstract graphic art like this. So let's get started. First let me open this in the photoshop and I have already opened it okay. Now let's it's the time to bring the texture onto this image. So we will browse for the texture which we are going to use for this image. So I'm going for my stokes and uh, let me find my texture folder. So we are going to take this texture and let me show you. This is the texture we are going to use for this image. So simply click and drag it on the Photoshop document, press shift and just leave it or drop it over here that way it will scale up to the document size and press enter or tick this check mark now the texture is on our image so but we don't want it to be appear everywhere so what we are going to do let's create a layer mask by clicking this little icon and now let's take the softest brush if you press b you will have the access to brush tool and make sure that it is a soft as brush with zero hardness mode to normal opacity to 100% and flow to 100% and now you can increase or decrease the size of the brush with the right bracket and the left bracket and make sure you take the black color if it is not press D if it is something else then it will convert to default color and press X on your keyboard to flip it over to foreground color as black all right and now let's lower down its opacity that way we'll be able to see or see through this textures and we will be able to know from where we want to remove this texture and start painting on that area slowly since we are using the 100 percent opacity that's why we are just painting on the bigger part but as far as the small parts are concerned we need to lower down its opacity so let's lower down its opacity by pressing two on your keyboard so if you'll press one on your keyboard it will turn to 10 percent two for 23 to 30 and up to 9 to 90 percent and if you press zero on your keyboard it will turn it to a hundred percent okay and now let's lower down our size of the brush and start painting on the edges carefully okay and this way we don't have to be perfect in this case since this is a abstract photo or the abstract texture which we are going to make all right let's increase its opacity to 100 percent and let's zoom in and now even with smaller brush let's refine this a little bit more okay from this area from this area from this area and a uh, little bit from here okay okay and this part now it's looking good okay and now let's color grade it a little bit so in order to color grade the image let's take our color balance tool which is easiest and i always use it 
since it is very easy to use and we have all the controls with mid tones shadows and highlights okay so first we'll take the mid tone and take it towards the red side and this magenta towards green okay let's bring it towards the green side and you can take any color you like but i am trying to copy my original artwork which is here which is green somewhat green okay so that's why i'm taking making it something similar to that okay but you can do anything you like all right a little bit bluish a little bit okay and for highlights as well you can change the sliders for highlights as well this these sliders are very simple and easy to use if you'll take it towards the cyan it will add the cyan color if you'll take it towards the red it will add the red color okay so it's very easy no rocket science over here so now since you can see that our texture is almost ready and now we'll take it even further and we'll make an abstract graphic art with the help of this so in order to do that let's create a stamp copy of it so how we can create a stamp copy you can press ctrl alt shift e or command shift option if you are on mac and that way it will create a stamp copy of all the layers which are visible beneath it okay or under it and now now go to the filter stylize and extrude and make sure you select the blocks and size of 30 pixels and press ok and it will take time to process depending on the speed of your system and now it's ready now you can see that it has created a lovely abstract graphic art with the simple image you can use any image with this technique and if you want you can even apply it once more so you can do that by going to filter and on the top of it you will find the last filter which we have used that is the extrude or you can simply press ctrl f or command f if you are on mac so press it once again and let's see what kind of a result do we get and see now we have more blocks of it and if you like you can save it but i prefer this one since we have all our dragon fruits which are within the frame otherwise it was looking outside so thank you so much for this episode and if you like this episode please don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel for more videos and if you have any comments or questions then you can leave that in the comment section below so thank you so much see you in the next episode